This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Yo, yo, what up fellas? Welcome back to the channel. So it's winter time here in the States. It's cold, it's brick, we all know that. And there's a lot of essential items you guys need to keep yourself warm and cozy. Parkas, leather jackets, thermals, coats, bombers, and all that. But we all have our own tastes and preferences. Some people are gonna like one style, some people are gonna like another style. But there is, however, one cold boy essential that everyone can get behind and that functions in all aspects of men's fashion, and that is the hoodie. So today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the top five hoodies for streetwear outfits. All right, so the first hoodie that I'm going to suggest is probably what a lot of style influencers are going to recommend, and that is the fitted hoodie. Can't go wrong with that, right? Well, that is because a lot of traditional men's fashion is fitted clothes. But we're talking streetwear here, and you guys might be thinking, hmm, fitted and streetwear. They don't really go together. And yes, I agree, I am 100% behind that statement, but sometimes you're gonna need one for those thinner jackets and coats. See, whenever you guys wear a nice, thick, oversized hoodie, with a thin jacket, and you start to look like our boy over here from Michelin. It's not a very good look, but I'd say this is probably the only good reason to wear a fitted hoodie with a traditional streetwear outfit. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. When I say fitted hoodie, I'm talking about a more slim fit hoodie. Don't get no skin tight one. That's a little bit too much. Maybe for working out, but even then, uh, hypocrite. But anyways, what I also like doing is dressing down a more formal fit. Personally, I like to throw on a fitted hoodie under an overcoat. I think it actually looks really good because you're pulling from different aesthetics, and making them complement each other. Now, does that make this a streetwear fit? Probably not. But it's 2020, fashion is all about fun, experimentation, mixing different aspects of certain styles to make it your own personal style. The next hoodie up for recommendations is probably what a lot of other fashionistas would recommend, and those are the neutral colored hoodies. Olive, black, gray, cream, sand, all of these colors are awesome. The sand one from All Saints has been one of my most worn pieces just because I can throw it under pretty much any jacket and it color blocks very well, as all neutral colors should do. But not only that, it's also great to wear on its own. Basics are just great and versatile and that's why everyone recommends it. However, I am going to recommend one type of wash that I think just gives off this really chill vibe and works well with pretty much any color and that is the vintage wash hoodie. So it's not black or your normal gray color. It has this faded type of look that looks great especially when styling it with black or the monochromatic color blocking aesthetic. If you guys couldn't tell already, I am a huge fan of vintage wash garments. But also, and this is just my personal opinion, what do I know about fashion? <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of light gray. You know, that type of material that's on hoodies, sweatpants and all that. I'm just not a fan of that. However, vintage dark wash gray is my jam. I love it as much as my cargo pants. I need some help. It just adds this nice break in color whenever you're styling it. If you're like me, black denim is your best friend. And black just blends well for a seamless silhouette. And your traditional light gray sweats or hoodie is just too contrasty. But a nice vintage wash garment just has this you know, almost like a gradient transition and it just looks awesome. Next up, we're gonna flip the script and go direct opposite from the first one and that is an oversized hoodie. But there is a reason and that is because you can style it a lot more tastefully than a traditional fitted one. I mean, seriously, if you're not yoked, fitted hoodies look meh, plain, and just boring. But an oversized hoodie, and, and this is just my opinion, it looks great on every body type. My favorite aspect of oversized hoodies is that you can play with the sizing and the proportions of your fit. Obviously, don't overshoot it where you look like the girlfriend that takes your hoodie. Check this out. Classic, simple fit that pretty much any guy can rock and look really good in. Oversized hoodie, skinny denim, and a pair of Jordan 1s. This look just never gets old. The skinny pants contrast the sizing of the hoodie. The hoodie just gives off this really chill, cozy, relaxed vibe, and the J's just a classic sneaker that is beloved and has a lot of history and culture behind it. Now, imagine it with a fitted hoodie. Mm-mm. No. No. Why would you do that? See, the first ever hoodies were produced by a well-known company today, and that was Champion. And the main purpose for this design was for their athletes to train more comfortably. Coziness. And what do you guys associate with the cozy vibes? Oversized. Even just go back a long time ago, monks, they had hoodies. So for the same amount of money, you can drastically switch up your aesthetic by just going up a size or two. Or you can look for pieces where its design was meant to be more boxy and more relaxed. The bang for the buck is real here. If you guys are trying to switch it up for 2020, why not try an oversized hoodie? Next up, we have a graphic hoodie. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. Brands that you like, designs that you like, but all that can be quite similar to what a lot of people wear. There's nothing wrong with that, but there isn't a better way to express your personal style than picking up a piece that describes you and your interests. Personally for me, I respect women, 
do you. Anyways, this is a brand by my old roommate, Christian. If you guys didn't already know, but the message behind it resonates with me. And I've also talked about this before, but Breaking Bad is my favorite show of all time. And so I picked this hoodie up from the official Breaking Bad store that just opened here in Albuquerque. But yeah, this is totally up to you. Maybe it's a hoodie from your campus store that's also going to charge you $400 for that campus's official book. Maybe it's your favorite team or a message that you can get behind. Either way, a graphic hoodie is a staple. It expresses who you are because you're exchanging your own money for that piece you're rocking it for everyone to see. So you should make sure it's something that you actually like and not just some random one from a fast fashion store that just has a random word on it. And also not just a hyped item because it's just hyped. Make sure it suits you. Last but not least is a colored hoodie. Now colored hoodies are awesome because it's a great way to add a pop of color to the fit while staying warm and cozy. You could wear it underneath a jacket or by itself and just use accessories to color block the rest of the fit. And not just a fully colored hoodie, I'm also talking about the color blocked ones. I don't own any color blocked ones, but I do think it's a great way to switch up your fits. It can totally hold itself on its own whenever you're rocking a simple fit. Whichever one you pick, I do think it's a great switch up from your traditional neutral colored hoodies. And it's definitely going to spice up your outfit if you color block properly. I've also got a bonus hoodie for you guys and those are zip up hoodies. Personally, it's just not for me, but it does look great on other people. I'd rather just wear a regular jacket instead of a zip up hoodie. Plus throwing on a zip up hoodie underneath a jacket doesn't really look too great because it just bunches up around the midsection. However, I do think it looks really good with the grunge aesthetic. You know, it just adds a bit more drape, but that's totally up to you. So now that you guys know what options you guys have for hoodies, I want to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with a ridiculous amount of classes. I'm talking thousands upon thousands of classes that offer real life skills that'll help you out in the real world. You know, adulting. Something we all have to do whether you like it or not. They offer a ton of classes in business, photography, graphic design, all of which are definitely gonna help you guys take better Instagram pictures or start something that you've been thinking about doing but never knew where to start. Plus even more classes that you may not even know that you like. Personally, I've been sharpening up my productivity skills from this class by Thomas Frank. I've gone through this course at least three times because it's 2020, I've got a lot of goals and it's really helped me become a lot more productive and get a lot of things done. Thomas gave me some gems about calendar organization and task management and now I've been scheduling my nostalgia trips playing Metroid Fusion and GTA 4, all guilt-free, while also providing content for you guys. I really think this is a really good start to a first class because like I said earlier, it's 2020. Make this the year you figure out what you truly like and accomplish all those goals that you set for the new year. There's a lot of classes on Skillshare that just might inspire you. I actually really like cooking. I know. I don't talk about it at all on this channel. And for this year, I'm really trying to learn new skills. Cooking may be one of them, and when I move back to New York City, I am definitely going to be learning about interior design again. So go ahead and click the link in the description. You're going to get two months for free of their premium membership. And even after that, it's super affordable at around $10 a month on an annual subscription. And once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, fellas, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know what your favorite hoodie is. And also make sure you guys check out our sponsor Skillshare in the description. If you guys haven't already, Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnyty. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel out. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, and I'm out, bro. Peace.